Yo guys, welcome on in. Kyrios here, and today we're going to go over a daily routine guide in Counterside. I'm very excited. We did this live on stream, got a ton of great feedback. So we're going to show you the amount of energy gain you can get, whether you're free to play or pay to play, uh, what your priorities should be on what you should be uh, completing every single day from first, second, third, to fourth, fifth priority. And then for those of you that have a ton of energy or Eternium, I should say, we have a create your own adventure at the end. It's got great crayons and and some cupcakes and everything where you can choose uh some of the ones that we enjoy uh from stream and, and myself personally but if you guys do like this video hit that like and subscribe let's get started all right guys bear with me this is pretty much some napkin math it's a, it's a little accurate but if these if this attorney is off by like a thousand or something like that here or there it's not going to affect our priority but so to make a daily routine guide we wanted to go over a few things there's a difference between free to play energy and pay to win energy and one thing i want to say about the pay to win energy and we'll get there for a second is that you can technically uh un almost get unlimited amount of energy based on the amount of quartz you want to spend but we only counted the first discount because that's really even spending 250 like is not cool right um so our energy gain just normal is 75 per five minutes so if we take that into a calculator you get roughly around 21,600 eternium a day now it may not feel like that and depending what level you are, you may have a cap. So you might have to log on multiple times of the day in order to do this. Now you can get an additional 3000 energy by doing the three times ads, um, which, which are not that bad in all honesty. And I do this every day to get an additional 3000. Now some bonus bonus energy you can get as well. You have the login energy, which you'll have under your, um, login bonuses and achievements. And then you have your evening login bonuses as well. So you get another 2000, 2000 there. And then you get 500 from recruiting once you're typically going to be recruiting every day because of the free summon. And, uh, you could always use, uh, the free friend summons as well to get that. You might as well. That brings you to a, a grand total of 29,100 Eternium. This is really what we're going to be baselining our priority off of is the free to play energy. So if you do have pay the win energy, like I have the, the daily, I have the subscription energy and stuff like that. Um, just, just realize you could do more, right? Once we get to the to the create your own adventure portion in the chapters. Now, just quickly to pay the win energy, you can get daily Eternium, which costs you 150 admin coins, which gets you 7,000 energy a day. Your subscription energy, um, every day you log in, gets you another 3,000. And then you could buy some energy, get an extra 10,000 for 250 quarts. That's with the 50% discount that they have in the shop. Now that does go to 25% and then nothing. We, I, as a community, we don't suggest that you do any of that unless you're a Omega Whale which by the way, we love you. Thank you for funding the game. Um, which brings you to a grand total. If you were to do all three of these brings you to a grand total of about 20,000 energy. So a grand grand total, if you're paid to win with a light spender, right? With the free to play energy, you're getting about 49,000 Eternium a day. And by the way, I, I use Eternium and energy almost loosely because of all the games we play. Now let's talk about the, your first priorities that you're going to be going through. And we'll flash them up on screen here. Now, the first thing you want to do is go over the covert ops and you really want to take down this one, three and one, four. Now that's going to cost you around 3750 Eternium and 4200 Eternium to do both of those three times. So six missions comes out to about 8000 Eternium, give or take. Now, the reason why these are so important, they give you ship materials. And as you can see on screen, uh, me just hoarding the ship materials for a couple days, I was able to get a ton of legendary ship materials. And the game requires you to build a ton of ships and there's more ships coming. So for the longest time, you are going to be farming this. And I highly suggest, yes, you can buy, um, with your, with your raid tokens. Yes, you can buy, um, ship materials and everything like that, but you might as well accelerate your career, especially in the beginning to get as many SSR ships, and as many SR ships as you possibly can. And we got some other great ships on the way. So I highly suggest that you farm covert ops one, three and one, four. Now going on to your second priority, your second priority is actually going to be those infos. Those infos are very important. I must blow through at least 3000 infos a day. They're from skill upgrades to raids to, um, uh, to a bunch of other things that I can't think of the top of my head right now. So we're really going to suggest that you go farm all three of the ways that you can get info right now. And the first two is being cover ops one and one one and one two it's about 1200 energy for the first one times three and 1300 energy times three for the second 
it's going to come out to about 7,500 Eternium. Now, that's most of your free-to-play energy right there in a day, or at least half of it. But it's going to get you a ton of infos. Now, as your as your uh, part of your secondary priority is also to do the Chloe challenge for uh, infos as well. If you can do that times three, even if you can't auto it, at least you can get through it. It's going to cost you uh, an additional 3,000 Eternium, but it's going to get you a lot more infos, and those infos are very important. So if we're taking our first priority and our second priority down, guys, we are going to come to a total of 29 or 10,650 energy that we have left for the day from that free to play 29,100. Now that's a big chunk that we've already taken out. And that's a, you're, you're probably asking like, wow, that is a lot. And that's where like that subscription energy and some of that other energy really does come into play and helps you out and not including any of the free energy that they've been giving us. Now, at this point, uh, I'm just going to make a TLDR here. You do want to complete your daily missions. So if there's other daily missions that you have to do um, that do require energy, there really shouldn't be. So a lot of the other things you need to do from your daily missions really don't require uh, energy because you've already would have done your five battles. You would have done your dispatches. You would have probably spent a little bit of credits. You would have done your simulations and your recruit once and everything like that. So you'd be in a very good spot from your dailies. And then your challenge mission, I know that I put this here and that's really uh, that's really just your challenge tickets and that doesn't have anything to do with your dailies as well. Um, so, But you might as well be doing those every day or at least don't uh, let those tickets go past 10, right? Because you can only hold 10. Now we're going to talk about our third priority. Our third priority is going to be a little bit of give and take here. So I'm going to give you guys some options. First option is going to be any event that has a shop. So uh, currently you guys may not be able to see it depending when you see this uh this video but there's a bunny event you can see on screen that has a ton of things in the shop and the shops typically give you or the, the events on the highest hard mode difficulty give you a ton of character exp give you a ton of money usually give you some characters and gives you some equipment now it's not going to give you a whole lot of 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 all of those but it is very good across the board and we highly suggest that you spend all your energy give or take the rest of your energy every day to do an event, level your characters, get yourself some money, and clear the shops. Those are very, very important. Now, if there's no event, you're going to be looking at a combination of the rest of these things to do, right? You have prime ship materials, which I do, I do suggest that you get these only when you're ready to build a ship, aka you have all the schematics, you have all the other components, and you're just missing um, prime uh, ship materials. And then at that point, you're going to do old city plan part two. And, um, but you're going to really get these naturally from the shop and, and everything like that. So this is only if you're missing out and you're ready to build a new ship. So don't, don't farm this otherwise. Um, but building a new ship is a priority if you're ready to go with those other materials. Now your other priority, uh, your fourth priority, I should say guys, is really going to be your side story. And, um, depending on what type of person you are, um, you can, you have the Orca side story, you have a bunch, you have the Jane Doe side story, Kang, and a bunch of other good characters coming out and you can farm their, um, uh, essentially, uh, recruitments, right? Scouting for them. You can, you can farm them repeatedly every day, I think three times a day. And that Eternium varies. So depending on how much you want to farm side story, this is going to eat up a decent amount of your Eternium. Um, I usually only pick one or two a day, which is usually going to eat up anywhere between an extra uh, 1,000 to 3,000 Eternium. So that brings us down to about 7,000. So that puts us in a really good spot. Now, um, assuming there was no event, now what are we going to do with that other additional 7,000? And this is where we get to the create your own adventure part of the guide. And you're going to see that I say these are equally important depending on the type of gear you're upgrading at the tail end of your energy. So you're going to pick a combination here. We have, if you want to get some gear EXP, which, you know, you're typically only leveling gear that's T6 and T7, but maybe a little T5 here and there. But to get a good amount of uh, gear EXP, you're going to farm that Gutter Rat 4, which is stage 1-4. That's going to get you a lot of just junk gear that you can fuse into your better gear. I really suggest that you wouldn't uh, wear this gear. But um, this is going to give you a lot more gear than uh, almost anything else. Now, if you're missing skill upgrades, you're trying to uh, skill upgrade a lot of different characters, you're going to want to go over to Riot Supp uh, Sus um, Suppression, Prime Training Data 1-6. I just had to do this for the last two days because I was missing out on a lot of skill books. 
Very important to get skill bucks as well because you need to get those level five skills and those are super important. Uh, another one that's very important here as well is that talent recruitment. Currently, I am farming for Evelyn. I am trying to get her to 110. Um, I would I would balance this. I wouldn't do this fully. Just really when you don't need anything else. Like your gear is in a good space. Like you're not doing any skill upgrades. So maybe I'll do some limit breaking. I'll get some characters that I really need that are SRs, right? Um, highly suggest that uh, you, you think about doing this uh, at least every so often. Maybe not every day. And then as you're getting a lot of T6 and T7 gear or perfecting your gear, you're going to really need those tunings, right? So you're going to want to start doing Covert Ops 1.5 and 1.6. Now, this is going to take up a big chunk of the rest of your Eternium. So really only start doing this, in my opinion, as you start to get a nice um, um, index of T6 and T7 gear. Now, if you only have like maybe like three or four, five or six or anything less than 10, you really don't need uh, a ton of tunings uh, as of right now, right? Because they've probably given you a lot and they've probably, um, you might have the, uh, the battle pass, which gives you a ton as well. But as you start getting a full set, like you've got 30 characters that are all in T6 gear, T7 gear, then you need to optimize it. You got to get them on the right set and stuff like that. This is when you're going to have to start farming tunings a lot more. All right, guys, that's all she wrote. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments down below. Did I hit it? Did I not hit it? Do, uh, did this help you out at all? I don't know if it did. Hopefully it did. Um, I will have the document that's on your screen right now in the description down below. We'll update it on the fly. We'll make it a living and breathing document. And then I'll add more to it, like other things that you should be focusing on. Um, and we have some other guides on the way. So hit me up in the comments down below if you did enjoy it. Once again, like and subscribe. I do appreciate you. So fist bump from me to you. I'll see you next time. <laughs>